Hey folks, this is John Crutchfield and I am going live. I'm going live in the Wealth and Real Estate Facebook group. I hope you had a terrific week. It is Friday. It's deal week. I've been talking about uh, deals this week that I've got going on and uh, I'm just trying to grow just every day uh, looking at opportunities. Uh, Every now and then I look at a home run, but for the most part, looking at a lot of base hits. And uh, today I want to talk about what I look for in capital partners, um, but I will combine that with uh, a deal that I did this week. So, um, hey, Corey Hayes, man, thanks for encouragement. I appreciate that. I'm trying to uh, stay committed here. So when you uh, when you say positive things, it definitely helps. Um, a lot of y'all know that I'm an introvert and this has been an experience growing social media. So thank you for the positive, positive vibes. But let's talk about a deal that I'm working on this week. Um, for those of you uh, in Tupelo, Mississippi, um, this week I contracted a house. It's a three bedroom, one bath house built in the 60s. Um, it is already rented. The renter is paying $650 per month. And uh, I contracted it for $35,000. Um, the tenant wants to stay and is willing to handle a rent increase of up to $800. So um, I probably won't go that much, uh, move that high, just because I want her to be comfortable with the increase. I might do that over a couple of years or six months at a time. Uh, but that, that's the deal of this week. Um, typically, I'll buy that property with cash, and then I'll go to the bank and refi that capital back out, put it on a fixed 15-year note, and uh, that's how I'm building the portfolio. Um, so those are base hits. Uh, that's a project I feel pretty comfortable with. It's also pretty close to some other property I own, so it helps with management economies of scale for my team that manage what do I look for in capital partners? Because some people hear like, oh, you're going to buy this house in cash. You know, you have a lot of cash. No, I don't. Right. I have capital partners. So I have people who have 25, 50, 100,000, shoot, lately $500,000 that they're looking to get great returns on. And what I do is I look for folks that want to make some money on their capital and I invest with them. Right. So you know, um, I'm not a bank. Let me be clear. This is not an offering. Let me be clear. Um, I just try to help people get good returns on their capital and I do the work and my team also does the work. So what I look for when I'm talking to people who are interested in investing or possibly investing, number one is like, do I know you, right? If you're like a random person, we're having our first conversation I hardly ever will mention, hey, like, I need some capital. I hardly ever will even bring that topic up. I do have people who contact me and say, hey, if you've got a project, I'd be interested in investing. And if you're not somebody who likes to get to know your operator, um, I post things about my kids, right? I post things about my life um, because I want to get to know, um, I want to get to know people that invest with me, right? I, I want you to know that I'm a decent person, that I'm married, right? That I've been married for 15 years. I've got two great kids. Um, I want you to know I go to church on Sundays, right? And I generally try to live a pretty positive uh, lifestyle. Um, of course, nobody's perfect, but I want you to know me. And I actually want to know you too. Like, I want to know what you've got going on. How did you uh, come up with your capital. What does your family look like? What is your reason for wanting to invest? What is your appetite for risk, right? Do you know that getting into real estate is risky and that uh, you could lose capital, right? Which we, we try to never lose money, but uh, you could lose capital. So um, what I look for in a capital partner is somebody who wants to build a relationship and relationships take time, right? I look for somebody that I've had multiple conversations with, um, there's generally an interest uh, that we have aligned outside of real estate, right? We might all like uh, football. I'm a football fan or a basketball fan, or we might like fishing. I'm a big fisherman, 
right? Um, we might like uh, video games, which I, I don't play them often, but I do like them. I just don't have time anymore. Um, so I want to get to know my capital partner. I want to get to know somebody I'm working with. The second thing I, I had written down here is I want to be dealing with people with great reputations. So I really want to be working with people that, you know, if I Google your name, nothing crazy comes up, right? Or if I ask around about you, like people generally think positively about you. Um, partnered up re recently with Chris Garrison uh, on some on some stuff. And what I really like about him is my attorneys are all saying, wow, you should work with Chris. And, you know, uh, marketing agencies, hey, you should work with Chris. Other business partners, you should work with Chris. I go in the gym and I see Chris's company, uh, Absolute Cleaning and store in what is it absolute cleaning and restoration the big banner up there and i asked the gym owner hey what do you think about chris man that's a solid guy right so i want to do business with people that have that kind of reputation right and then thirdly and this is probably the most important one um and this might be selfish but i want people interested in investing capital with me to know i'm an operator right i'm not a philosopher um, I'm not an analyst. I'm really not, right? Most of the deals I do literally can be done on a napkin. I can decide in 30 seconds whether it's something that I want to do, right? If it takes like a, a manual book rocket ship analysis spreadsheet to get a deal done, uh, now we have people on our team that do that, right? But did I lose y'all? There it goes. Looks like it's still going. But if, if it's complicated, I, I usually am not doing those projects. So I look for capital partners who just want easy transactions, right? I don't look for capital partners who want complicated. If it's going to take more time to analyze the project, right, than to sign the contract on the project, right? Or, or that's probably not a good example, terrible example. Uh, but if it's going to take a lot of time to make a decision on it, it's probably not for me just because there's risk that you're taking on that I don't feel comfortable taking. Right. So with capital partners, I want you to be educated. I want you to be as involved as you want in the project. But you also have to understand an operator that moves pretty quickly. I make decisions quickly. Um, I want to get in and out of a project with as little risk and as quick as possible as possible. And that preserves your money, but it also helps to do more projects. It also helps help more people get into clean, safe, and affordable housing, which is something that is a mission for Grab the Map Properties, which is my, my company. So that all said, I wanted you all to know what I'm looking for in a capital partner. I'm doing more of this lately, and uh, it's going to be the next step for, for my business. A lot of you all know I grew a portfolio. Right now, we serve over 250 families. And I grew it without using investor capital. I didn't have partners, didn't do um, joint ventures. So now I'm branching out into this space and I wanted folks to know what I'm looking for. If this sounds like something that works for you, please set up an appointment with me. Just private message me. Let's just talk about it. Um, but now you know what I look for in a capital partner. Let's get out here and not just look at it. Let's grab the map.